doom de doom 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 Tyro, the light skin gamer, baby. <laughs> Yo, 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 what is up, guys? This is Tyro here. You know, just playing me a little bit of Battlefield Bad Company 2 using this XM8. You might know it from Black Ops 2 as the M8A1, but it's really called the XM8 if you didn't know. But I'm using a submachine gun variant of it in this gameplay. But never mind what I'm playing and what I'm using. I'm going to be talking about what all the gamers are talking about right now Xbox One versus PS4. You know, like post E3 stuff. So. Overall, man, Xbox One versus PS4, we all know who the clear winner is right now, but, like, it's just like they both brought it, like, they both did really, really, really good. I'm, I'm gonna be, I'm telling the truth, E3 with the games, they did good, but console-wise, Xbox, you fucking up. The games were great. Titanfall, Rise, Killer Instinct, they brought that game back, my all-time favorite fighting game, they brought it back. And it looks a little like Street Fighter, but, I mean, it's it's good. It's still good. They brought it back, and I'm happy. PS4. Killzone uh, Shadowfall. It looks magnificent. And then, when at the reveal, like, they show Kingdom Hearts 3. Like, I swear I cried when I saw it. Like, tears ran down my face. Like, I don't even really need to cover all the games for PS4, because... They're still beating Xbox One because of its shitty ass console, to tell you the truth. Now, all these gamers out there that say, like, man, I ain't gonna buy that shit, blah, blah, blah. You know, good and well, if they came out with a Game Breaker game, like, later on, and they re announced it, and they said, oh, yeah, it'll be coming out this time, you'll want to get it. Because to tell you the truth, the game I want to get is Titanfall and Killer Instinct. I still want it, but I'm damn sure not buying that shit when it is damn near... I think it's 500 bucks. I'm not buying it. Either it's 500 or 400. One of those. I'm not buying that. Game. I'm not buying it at all. Actually, it is 500 because um, the PS4 is 400. Or I'm, I'm pretty sure because it cannot be 300. That's just 50 dollars more than a PS Vita, which would be stupid. But overall, man, no, I'm not buying me an Xbox One right now. It costs too damn much, and it's got them shitty ass policies, which I do not want to deal with, bruh. I'm not doing that. PS4. If I was to get a next-gen console, it would be a PS4 because they have some good games. I'm not used to PlayStation 4, but I don't know, man. It's just like Xbox. I was a big fan of Xbox, everything they did. When they came out with these bullshit apps, that bullshit console, and bullshit, like, policies, it's just like it's really like turning Xbox fans off, like, in the biggest way. And they don't understand what they did. They got a little bit of it like oh let's just show some games maybe maybe that's the big problem we didn't show any games that's the huge problem that everyone's mad at no that is not the huge problem that everyone's mad at the huge problem that everybody is mad at is the fact that your game your console is shit those policies are shit that connect no which nobody wants by the way is shit the fact that you turn it into a big ass smartphone is shit and I failed hitting that tank by the way but like, I want my console to be a console, not a big-ass smartphone. What don't they understand about that? They're thinking, oh, man, we need to evolve. We need to, to get with the times and all this other shit. Like, dude, man, it's a game console. It's not a smartphone. It's Just don't worry about doing that. <laughs> I had to do that for a minute. I'm sorry. I probably made my mic squeak out a little bit. But, um, it's just like... Really? Is that really necessary? Do we need all these apps to enjoy our console? Hell no. I enjoy my PlayStation 1 for shit, say, and my Super Nintendo, and my Sega Genesis, and my PlayStation 2 with all them bullshit ass apps. The biggest app that PlayStation 2 had was it was a DVD player. That's it. It didn't have shit else. It didn't need shit else. But this Xbox One, this Microsoft shit, I don't know what's going through Bill Gates' mind. He's just like, to me, He's really, like, when I had Xbox Live Gold, I was like, wow, we need to pay 25 bucks every three months or 60 every year just to use his Xbox Live? Like, that's some money-grubbing shit right there. PlayStation 4, uh, PlayStation players don't do that. They just get on and play. But now you're trying to give us these policies? Dude, he, like, Bill Gates is already with. He's already rich. What do you need more money for? Seriously, if you, if your whole bank account exploded, the whole bank account exploded, you could make 
just as much as money as that, just by like putting out more bullshit like you did before. Like if all your money was gone, he could make more of it because he's fucking Bill Gates. He's smart as fuck. Why does he need more money? But you know, everybody says you can't have too much money. You know, Bill Gates knows that shit. It's just overall, man. He's money grubbing us right now. Us Xbox fans, he's trying to money grub us. Like I don't, that don't sit right with me. You already got. I wonder how much the games cost. If the games here cost 60 bucks, what, what are they, 70 now, 65? That's too damn much. Like, and then, it's just Xbox, man. This just turned into a big-ass Xbox video. I barely talked about PS4 because I don't need to talk about PS4. They're doing the damn thing. This is a rant on Xbox versus the PS1. As you can see, who's getting most of the shit, which is Xbox One. PS4, they're fine. They don't need any shit. They're cool. But man, just I I don't know what's going on through Xbox's mind. I don't Microsoft. I I don't get it. It's like he went mad with power. He's he's I don't get it, man. It's just really like usually I don't even write out scripts for my commentary. I just go ahead and do it, and it flows really quick. This shit got me mind boggled because of what he's been doing. I just don't understand it. But oh man, if I if I do get a next gen console, it will not be an Xbox One right away. I will not do that. If the Xbox One went down to at least like 300 bucks, I'd be like, okay, that's that's fine. But like 500, hell no, I'm not spending that much money. You're drunk. Shit, I, I just can't do it, man. Like I was a big fan of Microsoft, but now you guys shot yourself in the foot. That's it, game over. You lost. But we're getting to the end of the gameplay here, and um, just tell me what you guys think in the comments. Tell me who we think is winning. And I would be surprised to see him. I was like, man, Xbox One bushing PS4 is ass. They still better. I would love to see some of that shit. But um, let me guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, I might put up like a bunch of different gameplay. Let me know what you think on my Slender games because I've been getting scared shitless playing that. I might put up some Resident Evil 4 Mercenaries gameplay so I can get that hand cannon. But man, this is all guys. Tyrogue here and peace out.